to I am back the video is about me showing you guys my study method my study times when I find the time to study between work school and kids all right so what's up Instagram I, I said, <laughs> I said Instagram YouTube I'll be, on, I'll be on Instagram way too much but anyways we're gonna jump into these books I got an airframe and I got a general we're gonna start with the general because that's what of course you guys know I just finished up that test passed it on my second go around and this book helped me out along with Pretware. And this is AS, ASA. I'm only on this side. This is ASA. You know, some people use Jefferson. I tried Jefferson after I failed. I would like to say, for me personally, after trying Jefferson, I was just still so hooked on this book. And I feel like this book got me through. I only did about uh, one section. I could say it, but it would say aircraft joints. I only did one section of aircraft joints, and I went back to take the test a couple days later. Got a 77 from a 68. Still using this book in solely Pretware. Pretware is, is set up like the computer-based FAA exam. So if you do Pretware, you'll pretty much be familiar with how the test looks when you get in that room. And you're gonna be the only one in that room. <laughs> if somebody is not taking the test with you, but where in my school in Philadelphia, I was the only one taking the test. So, you know, got that done. All right, so pretty much my study technique. Hey. And as you can see, I have like a bunch of electrical. I have a bunch of just all of these top, all of these subjects here in there. I'm over here trying to fix it so much, like it's not gonna get back the way I started it. Anyways, so there's about a couple sections in this book from from the from the chapters and the actual book they gave us in school. So basically, what my study method is, ASA, we'll go through this whole book at least three, two to three times over the year that I had to study for my journal. I've used in this book in Pretware. So Pretware is basically, you know, you have your, your general, your airframe, and your power plant. And, you know, sometimes you can get it in a bundle. I know for Android, you could get it in a bundle. For Google, for uh, Apple, you could get it in a bundle. But more so, you, the bundle is for Android. I, from what I know, you could correct me if I'm wrong. Or a bundle you can also get the bundle in um, Apple but for Apple what I've seen they kind of did it separately where it got you paying about five dollars for each one airframe power plant in general so basically I go through this two to three times I would read the question the explanation we're gonna put that in here you got the question and then you got the explanations and basically, what you want to do is go through this whole book. You want to memorize it. And you, not just memorize it. you got to. Okay. So not just memorize it. You want to, um, <clears throat> you want to understand why A is wrong, why B is wrong, why C is wrong. And understand which would be the right, the best choice. Cause you're gonna get two answers that's that could be correct but only one is right and so the, and the faa will try to trick you up a lot so we're gonna take it to one of these that's why it's good to have your little sticky pads with the sections of the chapter where you want to be because you could just pick it right out we're gonna go to aircraft drawings because there's one thing that i know that they tricked me up on when i went to take the test so the faa will trick you up so there's a question with what are the proper procedures for sketching repairs, for sketching repairs and alterations? And so the first thing you would think of is, of course, you know, blocking the views. Yeah, blocking the views. But on the FAA exam, they gave two, two possible answers, which was blocking the views or, you know, sketch, do a rough drawing, to get an idea of what you're gonna be, you know, what you're gonna be drawing or what you're gonna be uh, sketching or 
for the sketch and repair for the uh, repairs and alterations. So what you, what it really is is you got to draw a sketch, and blocking the views will be next. So be mindful with things like that. So reading the explanation, what I do is I read, I go through the whole section. I do some things I don't understand. I go back to the book and read that section. And you know, nine times out of 10, I do come across more information than what the little um, explanation did tell me. And that gives me more better of an insight of what I'm talking about to be able to explain it or identify the right or wrong answer. So pretty much that's what I did for this for my general. I got a 68, second time I got a 77. Mind you, it took me a year to do the general. I, when I could have taken a general five months into first starting school, four or five months into starting school. But you know, I wasn't, I was prepared, but I wasn't prepared because I took so long. Even though I did know my stuff to a certain extent, I wasn't as fond of certain things. You know, it was been, it's been some areas I've been weak on, some areas I've been strong on, but this book made me understand everything that I was weak on and doing a little reading in the book as well. Not this book, but the actual textbook. So that's what I did for my general. So for my airframe, I decided to switch it up a little bit. What I do now is I do the same method like I just told you guys for that. I'm going to do the same method for here, but now I'm going to add a little bit of more tactics to it, which is, all right, so, see, I don't have the same setup with the whole thing with this and the whole, I got to do that. I did ask my teacher for some sticky pads, and he said he didn't have none. What teacher don't have sticky pads? We going, we going to start at what I just finished that I thought of. All right, boom. So we have cabin atmosphere and control systems. This is the whole page work, this whole thing. Mind you, let's say my class is, my class is about a month long. It's a month long. So I would take prep work and I'll take this section of the book of cabin, cabin atmosphere and control systems. And I'll go through, I'll do this repetition for I'll put repetition on this for a good, the whole month. When I finish this, I go right back to it. When I finish it, I go right back to it. Add in a little prep wear in there. So with my tactics with prep wear, I'll read the explanation, I'll read the question, explanation, and I'll, you know, breeze through it. And then I'll go into prep wear. I won't do, I won't read the explanation for prep wear, but I will see what I retained from reading the explanation and doing the answer from here. I'll see what I retain from here and go through the whole section of prep wear. And this I think was about cabin atmosphere and control. I would say I think it was about 84 questions. Correct me if I'm wrong, I gotta double check. And one rule thumb of keys, don't just go through the book. You have to know how to solve problems especially with general and i see why they say general is the hardest because you have the most math in general especially with basic electricity you have 114 questions on basic electricity let's be honest and i'm gonna be honest i didn't remember all of it when i took the test some of the stuff was like all right i don't remember this question well, I remember this question, but I don't remember the answer. And once you don't remember the answer, don't fuck yourself and not know how to solve the, the problem or do the basic. I won't say I can say it's basic. Some is not basic math problems, but don't fool yourself with not knowing how to actually solve the problem with the calculations and the steps because that will fuck you up and it could cost you one one question. Like I said, I got a 68. And I was supposed to get a 70 to pass. It was that one question that fucked me up. So, so that's what I basically do. So my study time with kids. I have my kids during the weekday. Starting Monday to Thursday. And I work the weekend. One day out the week I do work on Monday. Today is the weekend. So what I basically do is I study enough during school. I study enough during school. 
so that, you know, when I get home, I can have some, a two-hour relaxed time before I get my daughters at five. I get out of school at two, go get my daughters from daycare at five. So I'll have that relaxed time because, you know, the teacher does give us good study time, good class lecture, time to do what we got to do. Mind you, COVID is only, we only doing four-hour classes. So the cram, all this, all these chapters into four, four hours of class time, four hours a week, I mean, four days a week is, is pretty damn challenging. So you have to study, study, study because, you know, airplanes, you know, it's going to take more than four hours a day for four days a week to learn about even just one chapter, especially, and then we got a month of that. So it's, it's more challenging now with COVID and the schedule that the school got us going off of. So you really have to be on your shit. And so like, we're gonna take it back to kids at school. So like I said, I normally get my kids Monday to Thursday, to take them to school Thursday. You know, that's the end of my day. I study during school and I have my daughters after school. More so, and I worked on the weekends. I started school back in 2019 of May and it's been pretty, it's been pretty challenging only doing part-time with two daughters not making as much money as i should or I, or that i could let's say that you know so, but you know i've made it work for a year and a half you know thank god to my mom you know she sees the path that i'm on and she tries to help as much and ask for little as much as she can you know even though i still give her what i can you know and she appreciates that but for the most part, you know, it's it's still challenging working part time, putting full time into school because that's what you really want. Well, that's what I really want. So pretty much, I work during the weekend, and it, it's even worse now. So it's a bigger challenge because COVID only have us working four hours a day, supposed to I could be doing eight hours a day, three days a week, and have a decent amount of money. But you know now. I'm only four hours, three days, 12 hours a week, you know, but I make it work still, you know, I still make it work. You know, I get my daughters what they have to for school, you know, food, clothes, you know, I do, I am a little better at money, budget, money budgeting now than I was when I started school. You know, so basically, you know, it's, it's going to be hard if you do the route I did with part-time kids in school but you know it's definitely worth it you know you just gotta use that head and come up with some bright ideas about how to survive and what works for you you know so like I said you know part-time with kids putting full-time into school worked for me I got a little under eight months left you know and I'm still surviving as you can see so you know you just gotta stick with studying Get a schedule for yourself and stay with it and by the time you know it school is over so pretty much that was my video of how i study and this is this is really this channel i could say as I, since i'm coming in as a student mechanic this channel is more so for for student mechanics as well or people that's looking to get into the industry and especially with kids you know, so hopefully you guys could get a better insight on how I handled my situation with school kids and work and get it done. Like I said, I got a little under eight months left and it's been working for me. You just got to um, stay with it and know what you want at the end. And it'll all pay off. So until next time, YouTube, that is my video. This video is quite a bit long, but it's, it's very informational from what I would say. You know, so study, 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 prep, wear, prep, wear, prep, wear books 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 and you will be okay till next time i'm out youtube